Good morning, friends. For global private equity, this is a moment like none before. While some PE investors are busy asking for bailouts, others see this as an unprecedented opportunity to lead their portfolio companies through crisis. Please join me in welcoming Anand Krishnan, Managing Partner of Fidelis World, who constantly floors us through his strategic thinking and operational prowess. Welcome, Anand. Clearly, from the current scenario perspective, uh, one sees a tremendous uh, global linkage that is that has been built, will taper and minimize. The human element is at the severest uh, that we've seen at stages. Money is not as important as empathy and relationship. Uh, it's very important from our private equity perspective at this point of stage. Not yet sure if we will ever get back to the pre-COVID demand balance. A new culture has yet to set in. Uh, and uh, we've, we've been in this for about six months. So I'm waiting uh, uh, as I think, I think that's the best strategy to not just take a look at what is needed today, but also have an eye on what the future is. Direction is more important these days than speed. I think we're so busy looking at our speedometers that we forget that in the current evolving scenario, the milestone has yet to be defined. Now the determination uh, on how one is successful value creation and safeguarding your assets actually begins even prior to investing in any portfolio. It's how you set your strategies and that's what we've done. A uh, crisis can be a creation if the process is not uh, a robust one. You could have crisis in your portfolio companies even if you do not have COVID. You don't need that, right? So you always need to be uh, you know, at the front uh, to ensure that you're managing them well uh, you're having a great management team, which can really lead the way. Now there are, of course, I'm in growth equity. There are lots of people here who are probably in buyouts and they have their own management teams and they play a significant role in some of these companies. Uh, I, I believe that we need a set of experts who run the company and that those are the ones that we, we back. I'll assume that, you know, we're all mature investors around the table today and, uh, and we ensure that we, we give, we're not going to be a, a, a bull in a China shop, so to speak, right? Because I've seen some GPs uh, and uh, who just go in and just say uh, on day one, let's just take the expense down 50% or 60%. It doesn't work like that. I think it's very important that you are uh, in touch with all your portfolio companies throughout the stage of investment and managing. And, and take a look at what needs to get done for that day, for the next six months, for the next 12 months, et cetera. Because it's very easy to take the expenses down, but it's gonna be very difficult to really rise up and create the value when everybody else does and you're not there to do it, right? So people paint it with one large brush uh, with all their portfolio companies, and then they just go in and start reducing the expenses. I think expense reduction and taking care of your working capital, taking care of your cash, is very, very important. Don't, don't mind, don't mistake me, it's very important. But I think it's important as well to, to understand what needs to get done for that specific company, right? At the same time, you wanna make sure that your management team are A-class. Now, if your management team is not A-class, you're always gonna be behind, you know, the, behind the, uh, the burner because you're not gonna be really able to steer them in the way that you need to. You cannot be sitting at the private equity company and running the businesses if that is not your strategy. You wanna make sure that your management team is equipped, your management team gets the moral support, your management team gets the empathy, your manage management team gets all the strategic inputs, and they're also given ideas how to think outside of the box, 